Hi there, good to see all of you. Tonight, I wanted to talk about the most common reason for giving up on a keto diet. Um, first off, I'll tell you, I'm Stacy Portugal, and I help women over 40 figure it out. I get them results, I work with them, we tweak together, um, and I do that primarily through low-carb living. So, oh, and also throughout the month of October, I am going to be having free live calls that are going to help you gain a better understanding of a ketogenic diet. So if you're interested, they are free, but registration is required. So I'll leave the link in the comments of this post and just follow the link and uh, via email, you'll get the schedule, you'll get all the dial-in information. All right, so let's talk about the most common reason that people give up on a ketogenic diet. Now, this is not an official thing, but this is my opinion based on experience. I follow a ketogenic diet myself. It's taken me more than one try, and I have clients who have done the same. I would say the most common reason that people give up on a ketogenic diet is they get the keto flu. Now, the keto flu is not actually a flu. It is, so you're not gonna get anyone sick, no worries about that. The keto flu is called the flu because of how you feel. So the symptoms might be that you're feeling a little run down, maybe a little bit headachey, just like the flu. Um, maybe you're low in energy. It might even affect your mood. Um, and you might be having some cravings. So cravings might be part of the keto flu, which could really throw people if they're not getting the support that they need. Now, why does this happen? So when you go on a very low carb diet, which is a ketogenic diet, what happens is you go through your glycogen stores. And what I mean by that is it's the energy that's already stored and it's energy that has come from all the carbs that you have been eating. But when you stop eating the junk, you deplete those stores because your body is using them for energy, you know, for a variety of functions. And when you deplete those stores, um, your body switches its metabolism from burning sugar which is what it burns when you're eating a lot of carbs, to when you start a ketogenic diet and you're eating more fat, it switches its metabolism from sugar burning to fat burning. And you might feel that initially, sort of feeling a little off, maybe like you've got the flu. Now, this is the process of becoming keto adapted. Does everybody feel like shit? No, not at all. Um, in fact, I would say, it surprises me, but most of the people I've worked with have not really experienced this. I feel like I'm, I ex I've experienced it more than others. So I don't know why that is. I can't really explain that, but it should be expected that you will experience some sort of minor discomfort for a few days. So how long does this last? Is this an issue? Um, the keto flu probably won't start for a few days because it takes maybe a couple of days to blow through, to burn through those glycogen stores. And again, that's gonna be a little different for everybody. But more than likely, it won't start for a few days. And honestly, within a week, two weeks max, you are keto adapted. Now, it's a very easy problem to solve if you're feeling uncomfortable. And what I do with my clients to avoid this as a pitfall is I just have them drink a cup of broth every single day. And we check in pretty frequently. So 
if they're feeling worse or if, if a cup of broth isn't helping, I can guide them. Um, Again, some people feel it more than others. And also, just so you know, uh, what you also might be noticing is that you're going to the bathroom a lot. You're like peeing a lot because think of carbohydrates as little sponges. And when you start depleting your um, reserves, you the sponges are getting like squeezed out. So you're going to the bathroom a lot. And in the process, you are losing electrolytes. And that's what makes you feel kind of funky. Think about a 90 degree day. If you were to exercise outdoors, you may get the same sort of funky feeling. It's really all the same thing. It's an electrolyte imbalance. So very, very simple remedies to address it so that if it happens, you don't feel it. And now that I think about it, um, I wonder if the reason that my clients really don't experience it is because we plan for it so they don't have to deal with the discomfort. I, at the time, was kind of guiding myself, so I didn't think to um, take the necessary steps to avoid it. I was still kind of learning at that time. So we're going to dive into this and many more topics concerning ketogenic dieting and these are free calls throughout the month of October and all you got to do is click on the link in the comments and register so that you uh, receive the information, the schedule of calls and the dial-in information. You can come on to as many calls as you want. You can ask me as many questions as you'd like. And also, if you want to make sure that I'm covering information that you really want to know, go ahead and ask your questions in the comments section of this post. So I really hope this was helpful. I definitely look forward to seeing you on these free calls throughout October. And that's it for tonight, and I'll see you on the inside.